Greetings Aquarius and welcome to your horoscope. Now you're a Saturn ruled sign, of course we can take Uranus also into account. So Saturn's in the ninth, Uranus is in the third. All about education, all about being smarter right now. And even the Mercury retrograde in the third, I said it last week, it's like you're the one who's got the mouthpiece for making sense of this nonsensical time. And um, one of my Aquarian friends, his name's Nathaniel, was like convincing to me how it's okay to be a transsexual, you know. And my only complaint about it was, one, it was not natural, you know, it's like you're arguing with God or something. But the other one was that I knew somebody, a guy I knew, that was sort of a friend of mine, he had to change. And then after, when he became a woman, I just didn't really like him anymore. I don't know why. It wasn't like... You know, it just he became so whiny and stuff, and it's like, this is no, I don't know. I just, you know, I think it was like one of the Motown songs said it best. There's nothing like the real thing, baby. You know, and so, I mean, I guess it's real for them. And one person who's had it done, it changed their life, you know, and like people getting artificial limbs. So I'm not against you. If you're transsexual, I just want you to know that I'm not against you. God only knows what horrible thing happened to you that that had to happen, or wonderful thing that had, that had to happen. But I, you know, I have to say that life is full of a lot of mysteries in the modern world. And to think that, you know, 32 years ago, we were just having problems with an answering machine. <laughs> so Aquarius, it's time for travel. It's time for movement. It's time to learn, and it's time to um, facilitate all this information and to be able to give it to other people in a wise and judicious way. Also, your, your own subconscious is changing. There's a restlessness within your side, within inside yourself that's kind of quaking, and you don't necessarily know what to do with it. The other thing is, is that friends are everything. And if you have younger siblings, younger sisters, younger brothers, they're very much in the picture. Even friends from like high school and college, they, they're very likely to be calling you. And the real healing comes from having spiritual remedies. You're someone who could use a good crystal right now. You could use something that reminds you to be patient, to be more loving, to be more sensual, to take your time. So think of that this week, and uh, I'm looking forward to being with you next week.